S for 60, Z for Zama, and S for Seca. See, multiple myeloma, Sjogren's syndrome, and autoimmune hepatitis, we learn autoimmune means immune, hyper immune. S for saliva, say with me. I for infiltration, C for shamus, G for C for a round, A for acidosis. Hello, my dear doctor. I'd like to talk a very important topic that usually encountered in your exam, my dear. I say it is a five-star topic that is nothing but SJS, my dear. We call it the Sjogren syndrome or Jogren syndrome. So yes, my dear doctor, SJS, the Jogren syndrome, is a very hot topic for the exam. I'd like to read the notes, my dear, first. Just follow me and just what is written in your notes, my dear. Sjogren syndrome is an autoimmune disorder affecting the exocrine glands resulting in dry mucosal surfaces. So it's an autoimmune disorder. Exocrine glands, circuit the exocrine. Dry mucosal surface, circuit the dry, it may be primary, there is a PSS, or secondary to rheumatoid arthritis or other connective tissue disorders. So circuit the secondary, circuit the rheumatoid arthritis where it may usually develops around 10 years after the initial onset. Suck the 10 years. Means the disease, if there is no other secondary diseases that we found like other diseases, we call it the primary. If you found the secondary single disease that the rheumatoid arthritis or other country disorder can also affect in the exocrine glands, but usually that occur after development of the rheumatoid arthritis. Means at least the 10 years after the rheumatoid arthritis. So secondary Sjogren syndrome. So once again, the Sjogren syndrome is much more common in the females. Nine is to one, circuit the nine. Sjogren syndrome. There is a marked increase of the lymphoid malignancy, circuit the malignancy, lymphoid malignancy, circuit the lymphoid malignancy, 40 to 60 fold minor, circuit the 60 minor. Features is the dry eyes, keratoconjunctivitis, seca, circuit the dry eyes, circuit the dry mouth. Circuit the dryness with the vaginal dryness. Atralgia Raynaud's myalgia. Atralgia Raynaud's myalgia. Circuit the atralgia Raynaud's myalgia. Sensory polyneuropathy and recurrent episodes of perotitis. Circuit the sensory, recurrent episodes of perotitis and renal tubular acidosis, usually subclinical. Circuit the acidosis mitre. Investigations are limited factor is positive in nearly 50% of the patients. Anna positive in 70%, circle the limited factor, circle the Anna, circle the anti rho SSA, means the anti rho SSA antibodies in 70% of the patients with the PSS, and LA SSB antibodies in 30% of the PSS myelin. Shirma's test is a filter paper near the conjunctival sac to measure the tear formations. Histology that shows the focal lymphocyte infiltration, circuit the focal lymphocyte infiltration, and also hypergamma glulinemia, circuit the hypergamma glulinemia, and low C4 minor, circuit the low C4. Management artificial saliva, that is a pilocarpine, yes, my dear, may stimulate the saliva production. Circuit the saliva, circuit the pilocarpine, and also artificial saliva and tears. So saliva. So yes, my dear doctor, listen very carefully. I'd like to discuss a very important box, my dear. I'd like to discuss onto the board. That will be really helpful. Yes, my dear doctor, just now follow me onto the board. Very important talk that I'm going to do, my dear. So yes, my dear doctor, listen very carefully. The SS box, once again. Sjogren syndrome. So Sjogren syndrome is a disease of the female disorder, my dear. Yes, my dear. So Sjogren syndrome, I'm saying the Sjogren syndrome, the single word that you need to remember, that is the Sika, my dear. So this in itself is a box to remember all together all the features. Means what I'm saying, my dear, the single word that you need to remember for the Sjogren syndrome. So definitely, you need to remember S for 60, my dear. What does it ask for 60? 
and Z for Zama, just write it down the way I'm writing, and S for C Carmide. That's it. 60 Zama Sika. Say with me, uh, J is the 60 Zama Sika. 60 Zama Sika, 60 Zama Sika, 60 Zama Sika, my dear. Yes, you need to remember. What does it mean, my dear? 60 means 60 times increased risk of the lymphoid malignancy. So, yes, lymphoid malignancy, my dear. So 60 means 60 times increased risk of lymphoid malignancy. The single disease mark yeah? Sjogren syndrome, which has increased risk of malignancy mark. The lymphoid malignancy, the single disease Sjogren syndrome. So we need to remember the 60 times increased risk of lymphoid malignancy. The single word mark. There is important one information that you need to remember that the 60 times increased risk of lymphoid malignancy. And Zama means my yeah? Gamma. Gamma means gamma globulin mitre. Increased. Means the hyper gamma globulinemia. What I say? Hyper gamma globulinemia. Zama means gamma, gamma globulin will be raised mitre. Hyper gamma globulinemia. And Sika, definitely the Sika syndrome. Yes, mitre. That's it. So this is the first box I'd like to give mitre here. I'd like to talk a little bit further. What is that? That is important, my dear. As I said, the SJS, S for 60, Z for Zama, and S for Seka. And this 60 times, but you need to know the 40 to 60 times increased risk of malignancy, lymphoid malignancy. And Zama means the hyper gamma globulinemia. Yes, my dear. And Sika means, of course, the Sika syndrome. I'd like to give you another box, a side box here. If I'm writing SS box for the gamma globulin, means hyper gamma globulinemia. Hyper gamma globulinemia, if I'm writing, how you can understand the hypergamaglobulinemia. In the scenario, you'll have the total protein and albumin level minor. So simply, if you have the total protein is increased, but albumin is normal range, so you can understand the globulin level is raised minor. It does mean the gamma globulin need to do a little bit mathematical problem, total protein minus albumin. So you will have the idea the gamma globulin is raised to not. So yes, my dear. So simple. If the gamma globulin is raised, my dear, the single diagnosis in your whole life, the first diagnosis you should think about, number one, multiple myeloma, my dear. What I said? Multiple myeloma. Second diagnosis, we already learned here, the AJS, the Zama. And third diagnosis, the autoimmune hepatitis, my dear. So this is another box, my dear. What I say, multiple myeloma, Sjogren's syndrome, and autoimmune hepatitis, we learn autoimmune means immune, hyperimmune, is a hypergamma -glinemia. So yes, my dear, so this is very much important. Multiple myeloma is a paraproteinemia, so gamma globulin infections will be increased so the multiple mile of the gamma globulin will be raised. So yes, this is the thing smiley we need to know. So similarly, whenever the hyper gamma globulin, you should think about the first disease of multiple myeloma. Yes, followed by FJS and AIH. Now my dear listen very carefully the features of the Sjogren syndrome as I say the S for 60 Zama Sika. Now I'd like to give the boxes for the Sika my dear. Sika means S for, of course, the Sika syndrome. Sika syndrome means that, you know, equal to the dry mite. All the mucosal surfaces, dry eyes, dry mouth, and dry vaginal surface. So dry vagina. 
So yes, my dear. Now what does the other sikha means, my dear? The single word that you need to remember S for saliva, my dear. What I say? The saliva. I for infiltration. Say with me, my dear, infiltration. And C for Shirma test. Shirma's test. And C for C4 level arrow down. And A for renal tubular acidosis. A for acidosis, my dear. So you can write down here once again S for saliva. Say with me. I for infiltration, C for shamas, C for C for a round, A for acidosis. So once again, saliva sika, so saliva infiltration, C for shima, C for C for, and A for acidosis, my dear, these are renal tubular acidosis. Let's discuss a little bit further. Saliva means the treatment that you need to do, my dear, the artificial saliva. Means the artificial saliva. And once again, S4, I'm writing the silo carpine. You need to remember the stimulate the saliva production. B is nothing but the silo carpine. I'm writing the silo carpine so that you can remember. S4 saliva, S4 silo carpine. S4, once again, I'm writing sensory polyneuropathy. Sensory, mind the sensory polyneuropathy. And infiltration, my dear, what these infiltrations? The focal lymphocyte infiltration. And that infiltration leads to lymphoid malignancy, my dear. So this is very much important. So the saliva, silocarpine sensory, saliva, silocarpine sensory, saliva is artificial saliva, artificial tears, is a treatment, silocarpine, pilocarpine is a very hot topic for the exam, my dear, and sensory polyneuropathy. And next is a C for Schirmer's test, my dear. I'm just changing the spelling, Shirma's test. So yes, my dear, Shirma's test. The Shirma's test is nothing but a filter paper is placed into the palpable features. So yes, my dear. If you, if you placed in the palpable feature, so yes, my dear. So if you place a filter paper in the palpable feature here, the filter paper like this, if it is soaked, it is said that 5 to 10 centimeter is a normal. 5 to 10 centimeter is normal. If it is less than that, it's a clinical bedside test that you can make a diagnosis that may be, yes, my dear, the Schirmer's test. Yes, my dear, positive. If it is less than 5 to 10 millimeter, so it's a, not the centimeter, it's a millimeter, so definitely it's a test, my dear. So yes, my dear, I have said the Schirmer's test and C4, C4 level will be arrowed down, means the low C4 and A for renal tubular acidosis, my dear. So yes, you need to learn these important boxes, my dear. Yes, my dear. So what I'm saying, my dear, listen very carefully. Yes, so this is very much important. The saliva, silocarpine, and sensory polyneuropathy and infiltration, lymphocyte infiltration, ultimately leading to the lymphoid malignancy. And that is the relation to the lymphoid malignancy mind. And she must test, as I said in C4, once again the renal tubular acidosis. So once again we need to make a box for the Sjogren syndrome equal to both proximal and distal renal tubular acidosis is occurred in a Sjogren syndrome. We'll do study in the chapter of nephrology regarding details of the renal tubular acidosis, but here that you need to learn 
The renal tubular acidosis, both proximal and distal, can be caused by Sjogren's syndrome mitre. So yes, mitre, this is very much important that the things that you learned here, the box that the Sjogren syndrome in the C car, the first box we already learned, yes, mitre, and second box that the C car and and second box is the hypergammaglutinemia, and third one, the full details of the CICA, and fourth important point, that is the Sjogren's syndrome, that is a proximal and distal, that is renal tubular acidosis. So once again, my dear, the Sjogren's syndrome is an autoimmune disorder that affecting the, definitely the exocrine glands, definitely the perot perotitis, recurrent episodes of perotitis, that leads to the dry mouth, dry eyes, these are the dry, the main features, my dear, the Sika syndrome. But the most important things that we already talked, the single word, if you need to remember, the S for 60 Jama Sika, and Sika for saliva, once again, infiltration, C for shimas, and A for acidosis, remembering that fact. And also the, the multiple myeloma, Sjogren's syndrome, and AIH is the cause of hypergammaglutinemia. yes. And also, this is very much a Sjogren's syndrome, is nothing but a cause of both the proximal and distal renal tubular acidosis. Knowing these facts, my dear, is a very important thing, the box says here, into the waste, my dear. I hope that you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much.